model number on this? G. Uh, it's a 67. It's a CA chassis. CA chassis 67. GE. And this came from. Was it KX250 Rider? Yeah. That's right. Okay, and the CRT was broken, so that was changed. And now there's no blue. Uh, so if we go to raster, and then this allows us to go white, green, blue. So we go white, green, blue, and there's no blue, there's red. So uh, turn the um, turn everything down except the blue screen. Turn the blue screen all the way up. Turn the other screens down. The blue yeah, screen all the way yeah. Alright, right, blue screens all the way. Okay, so now now turn that down. Do one at a time on the other ones. Alright, blue screens off, all the way down. Right. Red screen. Okay, off. leave red up for a second. I want to show this kind of weird sine wave right. ripple thing. Okay, do the other two now. Alright, red's down, green's up. Okay. Down. Nothing. So we got all, we just don't have. Now blue's all the way up. We just don't have, uh, so what we're going to do is put the vectroscope on it, make sure this is not a CRT issue, that this is in fact a demodulation issue, and then go from there. Okay, so this is the color bar. And one whole chunk of this is missing. So what we see, the Z is not working at all. Mm -hmm. I can pull the Z demodulator tube out, and it does nothing. So that's would indicate why there's no blue. So it's not the CRT. It's something, something in the board here. Now if I pull this one out, the Z. Did you find any of those? Where are we? Okay. Pin seven is two volts is 2 volts and it's measuring 213 volts and that's the BY mm -hmm. so we're going to assume or check that capacitor and see if it's shorted because that would make sense because we have about that and that would make sense why this tube is getting so incredibly hot that it burns it melts everything it touches Okay, so this is that capacitor. It's one of these EM red drops, and it is dead shorted. Here, show the meter. I'm going to go across it right here. Dead shorted, zero ohms. Actually, that's on diode check. Let's try 200 ohm scale. It's still it's still <laughs> it's dead shorted. Yeah, this is and the first time I've ever seen a red drop shorted. And there you go. So we got we got some orange drops from uh, antique electronics supply that will replace this. So after changing the capacitor, we got a little bit of some fingers here the blue but it's still not looking right and the voltages are still not quite right so we gotta continue on with this okay so there's still no blue or very little and the first thing I want to do is let's test the tubes I brought the tube tester and we will um, pull the chassis out and check the resistors and stuff and wiggle that, wiggle that tube around again the one that's causing, we got a crack solder causing this here let me go back to the vector scope so turn this off is the color cutting out? Uh, hold on let me turn this the... okay wiggle it around yeah bring it, bring it in we need to look for a crack solder for that. We got color now? Yeah. Right. It's actually pretty interesting. I've never seen this either. That might explain why the voltage is changing. Mm -hmm. um, 
as it warms up. This tube shorts when it gets hot. So there, it's not short at all. Crank this up to a six volts. And see it short when it gets hot. Mm. Okay, I might have brought some. Okay, we've we've come across a resistor. Where's the schematic? Bring me the schematic. This is the resistor. One seventy-eight. So this is supposed to be a thirty-nine hundred that measures 400 ohms and this is a capacitor that was shorted so we're thinking that this overheated and you can see it's pretty smokeified and here's the other 3900 which is clearly orange white red so we're measuring uh, 410 ohms. The other one measures exactly 3.9k. So we're going to pull that loose and make sure it's. There's something else in the. Get some audio of these squealing dogs. Maybe the oscillator's up tonight. Alright, it looks like the 3.9k took care of the lack of blue so now we got all three colors this could be a purity problem on the left side you know let's take a look at the NTSC generator is it still plugged in plug the NTSC generator in so it, uh, it's kind of working here it doesn't it's not looking great but we have all, um, other what? Here, we're, we're, we're looking at this, these ripples over here that could possibly be a problem with the horizontal output tube. When you look at this, You look at a blank raster, you see these bars here, which could be the horizontal output tube or the damper. But that definitely looks, I don't know, they should be straight pedals. They shouldn't be looped like that. That's kind of weird why they're... Like that? Yeah, exactly. They should look like that, but they should be... Swap this tube out, see what happens. Yeah, the horizontal output tube. Let's swap that. Well, this is not too bad. This would probably actually have a decent. We should bring the converter box. You got the converter box. This would probably actually have a decent picture. It's all working now. One thing that's kind of cool about this set. GE is it's got a schematic of the whole set on the side here. Here's the uh, 3.9, the new 3.9K resistor, and there's the new capacitor. Here's where the vector scope's hooked up. GE chassis is pretty much like a 15 CTC 15 or 16 with some modifications. It's got a couple compactrons, the audio tubes, a compactron, and the 
horizontal oscillator is a compactron and it does not use the double diode, it uses the tube. But the chroma demodulator board is pretty much the uh, IF is like a zenith and the horizontal output uses a 6JS6 style like a zenith. So it's kind of a hybrid between the two, RCA and zenith. This looks pretty good, a lot different from when we started. You want me to take off the clamps? Oh, no, I'll just you, shut it off here. Right. No, I like how they hyperinflate the colors on the food though to make it look more appetizing. Don't forget about Marie Gallagher's Take them home and share the sweetness. Closed captioning and other consideration for the Big Bang Theory provided by... You just need to fix this ringing on the left side and do the convergence. New from TurboTax. Get your tax questions answered by a That's got to be in the damper circuit. No, it's something. It's a capacitor or something in the damper circuit. She does not have that bad a picture yet. That monkey butt. We leave soreness and irritation really fast. Baby anti monkey butt. Cool name. Special formula with calamine. I feel special. Getting your kids to eat more fruits and vegetables can be hard. Finding out that one of your kids had type 2 diabetes can be a lot harder. Saying no to my kids when they want afternoon sweets is hard. Watching your child struggle with obesity would be a lot harder. Realizing it was time for a change. They didn't artificially yeah, crank up the out. colors on be the food in this commercial. Be a champion for change. For healthy recipes to stretch your budget, contact the network for a healthy You don't want to eat at Caro's? You mean Marie Callen? 